And you better believe that I feel the love because y'all energy is so amazing. Thank you so much for being here. You have no idea what it does for my life. Oh, my goodness. Listen, I'm gonna get to the point. Ooh, this little mug got a spoon in all, y'all. Hold the line. Now, what am I supposed to see? Look, hold on. I'm gonna... See, sometimes you gotta whisk it around. You know what I mean? So, look, my, my, my mug today is Joy. Joy. Yes. And it looks a little Christmassy. Yes, it do. Oh, my God. Tonja Henry, thank you for sending it to me. I'm gonna send you a J-Hood mug as well. So you look for that, because if you send me a mug, I'm gonna send you a mug. All right, but you know I gotta take my sip, right? You ain't want none, did you? <laughs> That's what my mama used to say, you ain't want none, did you? Okay, yep. Now, see, I wanna mess up my lips, so I'ma hold on. I got it good and bright for you today, is that okay? There it go! All right. All right, so y'all know I love two things, and that's taking some pictures, and I love the holidays. I know it didn't pass on, but it is still within my heart, okay? And yes, that's why my, my mug says joy. So the producers, they love taking over my photos. So y'all know what that means. It is time to play photo roulette. We're gonna have a picture moment. Yes, we're going to shuffle through all of the photos I took over the holidays and whatever picture pops up on the screen, I have to tell y'all about it. Are y'all ready for my December photo drops? Okay, I had, I had some fun, y'all. Let's see what we got. Here we go. What y'all done got out my phone? Aww, selfies with the fam. Now, see, I don't know if you know. See, I wish y'all had the picture when they was little. So this is me, my son, little David, and my nephew. This is actually my great nephew. Did you know I had a great nephew? Yup, look at your face, you said a great. That is my great nephew, Yay Yay. And this picture is the moment because they grew up together, like little David and Yay Yay, and to see them grow older, like they little young men now at this point. And I was having a mummy mummy because I'm like, dude, how y'all get this big? Like, what in the world? So this is them all mature and getting older. So that's little David and my nephew, Ye Ye, over the Christmas holiday. I'm so proud of them. Okay. Okay, see, I turned into mommy mo. You know when you ask the mom about their kid or a parent, we keep showing you picture after picture after picture. I ain't gonna do y'all like that. Okay. <laughs> so let's just see what's next. What else we got? Okay, so this is old Albert, my hairdresser, and he comes from Chicago like me. So when we was just in Chicago for the holidays, we got to make it back home home, because I'm a Chicago girl, so when I go to Chicago, you know, I call that flying into the, the holiday season, so I had to go back home, and we were in my closet getting ready for all the holiday festivities, and old McCavity, my cat, got a hole to old Albert. <laughs> inside of the closet right here. So it was like, you know, a holiday reunion back home in Chicago, because we haven't been home since up into the holidays. So there's Albert and my cat, McCavity. All right, keep it rolling. Let's get another one. Oh, okay, y'all don't need to know what you're looking at. So during the holidays, I always have a, a holiday party as you see, I love Home Alone, so they sent me the little sweater and the hat, but this ain't even what this is about. This is at home, but right here is my best friend, Walter Williams, and we have, like, live karaoke. And, well, this year was a little different, but I was gonna get to that later because, you know, all of these worldly acts keep happening, and one minute we were supposed to celebrate the week of Christmas, but then we got so scared by the news thinking every storm was coming, and it never came, so we had to move the holiday party till the week of New Year's. So right here is a clip. We had the Christmas party because Christmas is still in my spirit, so we had it the week after Christmas, but right before the, the uh, New Year's Eve, so this is Walter singing at the holiday party, Prince Kiss song. I wish you could hear him, because my friend, sometimes he sing right and sometimes he don't, but he sang all right that day, okay? He held his... I was so proud of my friend. I didn't, I didn't think he was gonna do it. So everybody get to sing a song. It, you don't have to be right or wrong. 
If you come, you just come on, bring yourself. If you want to bring some, bring some. If you don't, we got you, because Mama Hood is going to feed you. But have your selection ready, because the best gift to give me is a song, and Walter sang me, yeah! Yes, he did. <laughs> All right. <laughs> and I, I, yes, we had such a good time over the holidays. It felt a little long, though, but I had too much fun. I, listen, I'm kind of glad it's over, because we don't need to celebrate another thing. We celebrate it down. Let's talk about my sister. Juju gave me the most beautiful, beautiful gift. I'm so proud. So this is, as I told you, my son is now 13, and he's getting ready to go to high school. And I'm, you know, reflecting through all the phases of his life. So my sister gave me that picture of, uh, I love paintings, I love art, and I also draw as well. So they love to give me, like, gifts in the form of art. So she had that created by my favorite painters. And it's my son and all of his phases of life up into this part, which I cherish. And I'm going to, I brought it all the way here to LA to put here on the set because now this is my new home, you know? So this is my munchkin all the way up to 13 from when he was born into the age of 13. I love that. Then we had a little bit more fun. Oh, pull up. So, yeah, we went to I always have an activity every day leading up to Christmas. Now, that's the one time of year that I will sit down because Jennifer always doing something. My mommy said, you can't do everything, Jenny. And it's like, mama, you know, that's what Virgos do. So we also went to like a pop up Christmas, I guess, like park or a festival. And it, it had this like amazing snow slide. And I do what the children do. Baby, I get down with the kids. So this is us. It was an ice sledge, y'all. Look at that. Don't you want to do that? That's me right there in the middle. That's my son. <laughs> and the other mother, she couldn't get up. That's Mika. That was fun. OK, and then New Year's Eve. Oh, my god, it was so fun. We did, uh, we did bingo. And then we also did food all around the world. Because I feel like, yes, we have a bit of a traditional family, but an untraditional family. So why do we have to stick to the tradition? Like, do different things. So, you know, I did a little bit of my cooking, OK? <laughs> they watched me real good, though, OK? <laughs> but I gathered everybody, and I was like, can I drag y'all by the face just a little bit longer? Because, again, everything ended up New Year's week. So we also have our foundation dinner. So we had the foundation dinner, then the, the, the uh, holiday party, and then we had the sliding down the thing, and then we had to do New Year's Eve. So we did food all around the world. Look at me, I'm just a talking at it. You see that? We either talk your head off at our family or we gonna sing you down. Okay, but right now I'm supposed to talk your head off, so I'm gonna just do that. So anyway, we did bingo. So that's what we did to bring in the new year. And then we did food all around the world. Now this is my friend Jay. He does the hosting of the bingo. And he decided it was so serious that he needed to bring his own microphone. That's his mama right there. <laughs> Jay brought his own mic. He set it up. He put it together. He's like, oh, girl, I am hosting this thing. I said, Jay, you serious? So this is the table. And everything is a family affair. It's the kids. It's the mamas, the grandmamas. You bring everybody. You come over to the house. And then Jay mama won the bingo. I don't know if they cheated or nothing. <laughs> but she won the first round. And look at her. She just a celebrating. She had herself a, that's Mama Jay right there. She gonna be so proud to see herself. But it was a good way, because you know our kids today, all they want to do is put their phone in their face. And you on TikTok time, you got two seconds. You know how it is. And it's like, I am talking to you. So I like to find ways for us to be social and bring the generations together. And then we had a house band. Pull up my house band. Oh my God, we had too good of a time. This is one of the boys. That is Devion, and he, turns out, can really play the drums. Now, normally people sing at the event, but he, they was like, one of the kids want to play the drums. And when I tell you that baby got on them drums and told them right on up, I was so proud of him. That was another highlight for me at the holiday party. Next time y'all come on by, because I love to have y'all. Just like you here right now, we got a great show. We'll be right back. Our first guest is multi-platinum recording artist, actress, and mom. Please welcome Ashley Simpson Ross. This is fantastic. You like the energy? Isn't I it amazing? Love it. Congrats. Thank you so much. Really cool. Thank you so much for being here. Oh, thank you for I'm having so me. I'm so happy to have you. I'm so happy to be here. Yes. <laughs> it's the happy place, young lady. The happy place. Okay. 
So I I know your husband, and and yes. it's so nice to meet you. You too. Oh my God, do y'all know? She is a part of the Ross family. <laughs> Evan Ross, Diana Ross' son, is her husband. He's here. Is he here? Yeah. Hey, Evan, it's me, <laughs> Jennifer. <laughs> oh, my goodness. So, tell me about y'all Christmas. Y'all had, like, holiday sweaters and things like that? We did. Every year, we do, you know, uh, like, matching outfit. This oh, is my there type it is. of stuff. Yeah. Right here. So, this year, it was red sweatsuits. But every year, it's something different. We all match and put it on and do Christmas in the morning. And oh, yeah, my goodness, that's my type of zhush right there. I know, would... right? Everyone's cozy and yeah, it's great. Whose idea is it to do like the matching holiday I, outfits? I think it might be Mama D. Evan, is it? Yeah, Evan's mom. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, I think so, yeah. That is so sweet. Yeah. So it's been almost 20 years since your debut album. That's, yeah. a, that's a long time I that mean, has passed. 20 years, I'm like. <laughs> <laughs> Look at you, I remember Isn't you being a crazy? baby. Oh, it's so wild to think that it's been 20 years. Um, but then I look at my son, and he's 14, and I'm like... You have a 14-year-old. Well, there's that, yeah. Oh, my God. <laughs> yeah. It's pretty wild. But my daughter, she's the one who's like, I want to hear mommy's music. So <laughs> I get to listen to it uh, quite frequently now. Did they hear you when you <laughs> sang with Demi Lovato on the stage recently? I brought my daughter. She wore like a little rock outfit. And uh, oh. that was so much fun. What was fun. that like? It was so much fun to perform with Demi. I was so flattered that she sang La La on tour. Wow. And to get back out there and sing that mm -hmm. with her, who I love her. Her voice is so beautiful. She can and sing, it honey. was just fun, fun energy. We had a really good time together. Definitely made me miss the stage and yes. singing. So are you going to come out with a new album? I was like, OK, I keep saying I'm coming to. out with an album. I'm coming out with an album. And now I have to, you know, but then I keep having babies. So You keep having babies? <laughs> so you, you got to give us the album, then a baby, or you can uh, get to have another baby and then an album? Right, now my baby's two, so it's time. <laughs> <laughs> I think so. And then your sister is Jessica Simpson. Yes. So how often do you guys, yes? We were just talking Jessica about Simpson. <laughs> We were uh -huh. just talking about her roller skates. Yes, she <laughs> sent me the best skates. They are very cute. They're the cutest skates yeah. I've ever had. Now, y'all gonna have to teach me how to skate on them. But can you skate? Um, I'm not great. I'm okay, but I, I don't know that she can skate. But um, she, I'm okay. She, I go around my house. house. <laughs> <laughs> how she often? put them on and like. <laughs> How often, like, when's the last time you Actually, guys saw each other? the first time we, uh, there was a Christmas that we had years ago. I think I was in third grade. We got rollerblades. Mm -hmm. We put them on, and we lived on a hill. We went flying down, and Jessica's like, jump! <laughs> we went flying into the grass. <laughs> well, I wouldn't say we're great. I was <laughs> well, that, that would be me. Yeah. Do you guys ever have mom's night together? We do. It's more like mom's night in. Mm -hmm. We're very, like, chill, sweatpants. That's but if we do idea. go out together, I feel like just the other day we went, we, like, did our makeup together, which was Sweet. fun. Yeah. Well, that's like, uh, there it is, yeah. She's very, like, let's get a makeup artist and <laughs> go for it. And I was like, okay, I like it. <laughs> and that was fun. That's not usually what it looks like when we're having a night together. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so uh, my we our son's about the same age. My baby just turned 13. You have a 14 year old. Yeah. So what is it like having a teenage son? Because I'm trying to get it's a new transition, honey. You got any tips for me? I mean, what is it, it like? It is. You know what? He's so tall. He's like five nine and a half. He towers over me. Mm -hmm. um, he's really chill though, so I'm I'm lucky for that. He's like a good kid so far. Okay. Uh, stay that way, bro. <laughs> Um, the voice but, changed. Um, and... like, yeah, his voice is deep. He's like a, he's a young man. You know what I mean? How, is your son the Honey, same? that's how, I feel like I have a whole new kid. One minute he was like, you know, I used to call him my monction. Now he like, hey, what's up, mom? And he's way taller he's than insane. me now. It's I, like I, having I another kid. I was at the movies kid. with Bronx and Evan the other day, and I'm like sitting next to Bronx and Evan's on this side, and we were at one of those movies where they offer you wine or something, and they were like, oh, sir, would you like something? I was like, he's not my friend. Well, he's my friend, but this is my kid. My 14-year-old son. Don't offer my kid no, tricks. No, he's not well wine. Right. <laughs> yes. Not until he's 21. <laughs> hey, just go, I always tell myself, now, you're not grown yet. Listen, no. you got to remind them because, you know, they get yeah, that because they're like, mature and mm -hmm. then they think they, you know, and it's like, hold the line. Yeah. You're just 13 true. or you're 17. You ain't grown yet. Uh-huh. But they'll get there. Now, your kids have the coolest names. Tell me, tell us each of their names. So the baby is Ziggy Blue. Ziggy Blue? <laughs> yeah. That's adorable. Ziggy Blue Ross, and there's Jagger Snow Ross, and Bronx Mowgli Wentz. Yeah. <laughs> uh-huh. And how did you come up with the names? Uh, 
All of them different. I mean, Ziggy, he was like our pandemic baby. We love Ziggy Marley. And I feel like I, I was like listening to it the whole time too. I was like, all I was listening to was reggae music. I was like, keep me in my happy place at the beach. And that was my, you know, pandemic baby. Um, and Bronx came up with the blue name, the middle name, Blue. And then Jagger, she was just moving and grooving in my belly. So it's I love little that. moves like Jagger. And then Snow was winter. And, <laughs> I don't know. I come up with quirky names. <laughs> you, you just, all of you guys are well, so... Evan's mom did say, uh, what would you do if Ziggy wants to be, you know, the president? I, I guess he'll be President Ziggy. President Ziggy. <laughs> so be it. That's what it will be, right? <laughs> Okay, I have to ask you this as well. How do you balance being, having three kids, a career, and being a wife? I mean, you know, I think I always put my kids first. Yeah. How do you do it? I mean, you are really doing it. Listen. <laughs> <laughs> you just do it, right? Thank, yes. We get it done. You just get it done. It's right? like a mom's superpower, right? Yeah. It's like, like, whatever it is, just do it. And I feel like, you know, all my kids are such different ages. So it's like getting everyone to different places, yeah. but always knowing that that's the priority. That's where it lies. So. I, I can't get over how, like, you know, you're all grown up, you got children, and you seem to be a yeah. beautiful mom. I'm not an angsty teen anymore. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much for being here. Thank you Can for we keep me. chatting after this? Yes, Okay. <laughs> well, with Ashley, we'll be right back. And we're back with Ashley Simpson. <laughs> okay, so you've been married for eight years. Yeah. How did you know he was the one? You know, I feel like it was just a feeling. Uh -huh. You know, I, I remember, like, there was this time where we had made out. It took us a second to fully get there, but we had made out. My sister was super pregnant with uh, Ace at the time, and we were at the Beverly Hills Hotel. And I'm like, oh, my gosh. He was with all his friends, like, woo! It looked like they had been up all night. And I was like, oh, my God, Mom, I, I made out with that guy. <laughs> and then he come, I was like, I think he's coming over here. And uh, his pickup line was, like, he thought it was so sexy that I was a mom. And I was there playing with my son. But then my mom was like, the way that he looks at you, I think it's like, you so know. So it was and in the look. It was just every time I was with him, it was just, and now it's like, he's my soulmate. He's my best friend. So it just beautiful. doesn't get better. Yeah. And that's you knew. Okay, and you two released music together, right? We did, yeah, oh. which was so much fun. And just having that, you know, forever, that we made music together, that we had that moment together, it's so special. Yes. Yeah. And what was it like, you, Dana Ross is your mother-in-law, what is it like sharing the music and having her listen to it? <laughs> like, how does that work? Um, you know what, I think it's nerve-wracking at first playing music, A, for anyone when it's new, mm -hmm. but definitely her. You're like, oh, please like it. Um, definitely butterflies, and, you know. But, but she's such a wonderful mother-in-law. Um, yeah, so she's very encouraging. And she was definitely, she helped us on the album, too. Yes. Listen, let me tell you my Dan Ross story. So she came to Chicago, Ashley right. Girl. <laughs> and I, I love a concert, y'all. Oh, she so, does a good show. Jones, oh my God, yeah. one of my favorites. And mm -hmm. them gowns she be wearing is everything. But I decided, I was coming from home and I was just enjoying myself. <laughs> and I thought I had some fabulous Dan Ross flip-flops on, okay? But I was gonna sit in the skybox. So I'm watching the show, Ashley. And then all of a sudden, somehow I ended up sitting in the very front. Normally we sit, you know, in the back yeah. in the skybox or something. Mm -hmm. So I go and I sit at the front and I'm like, Lord, I'm in the front of the house. Donna <laughs> Ross is right here. Why I get ready to leave the concert, y'all, I get right to the back door. And they said, Donna Ross said for you to come to stage and sing. I said, what? <laughs> y'all, I got on flip flops. <laughs> I can't go on the stage with that and a rock. Do you see this, Ashley? <laughs> no, let me see. Oh, you my see God. Hey, but you're cozy. <laughs> Honey, when I tell you I learned my lesson from here on oh, out, oh my God. you would never see me go to nobody else's concert. <laughs> Ain't no flip-flops. Oh, so, my God. So I love this. <laughs> that, you know what? That is so amazing. I was like, well, if she said get up here and sing, I better get up here and sing flip-flops or not. <laughs> I had to share that story. Oh my God, that's the best story ever. You know what though, you're cozy, you're grounded, yes. you know. I'm sure she loved it. <laughs> and she did, and she let and me you have the with best her. voice. I mean, Thank you can wear you. anything. And it was a dream and I would never forget having that moment with her. What and, song did you sing? Uh, my love, your da 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 Ooh, I love and that. And it was a dream to be able to sing with her. She you know? sang that at our wedding for us, and that was a surprise for us. How beautiful she, she was is like, that? I'm not singing at your wedding, and surprised us. I wanna know, did you sing at your wedding? 
No, no, I did not. Um, but she, she married us, and then she surprised us with the singing for us. That, that is yeah. so lovely. OK, let's talk about Kempa. Yeah. Your home, you're the director? Yeah, for Kempa Home, yeah, yes. the so creative me. director. And um, it's been so much fun. I love furniture. I love, you know, redecorating houses and everything. So for me, this was such a fun avenue to get into. Uh -huh. So, um, yeah, this is our collection, Kempa right. Home. And it's amazing because you can go to the places that they have. They have Kempa Collection. There are places you can stay, which is where I fell in love yeah. with it. And you can have a QR code. Like, say you like this couch. There's a QR code, and you can then purchase it. Or you like the knife set. Or, you know, oh, I like that cup. You use the QR QR code, scan that, and you can purchase it. But it's also online as well. Yes. We kind of did it for everyone, where there's like modern and uh, minimalist, and then also for me, I'm more of like escape the ordinary, mm -hmm. I like you know the quirky pieces. So it's a bit of everything, um, yes. and I'm just so proud of it. Congratulations. Yeah, That's my type of stuff, because I go places and see things I like and be like, oh, I need that. So you can scan it you can right scan there. It. Yeah. And for me, you know what I love, too, is like now, right now, it's spring. It's like everybody wants something new. And I feel like you can just even take something small and redo it. New pillows, new throws. Actually, we have a throw that I love so much. I feel like I wear it on the plane. I yes. wore it the other day as my scarf. And I brought you. You brought me yeah, some. I brought you I was yes. hoping you did. <laughs> Oh yes. my God! <laughs> oh, so this, is, and this is a vase that I'm obsessed with as well. Thank and you, this Ashley. Is the scarf, and it has two sides. And I can wear it as a scarf. And you can wear it. It actually goes with you right now. Uh -huh. Well done. But there's a uh, both sides. This side. That side. Nice. You know, like fold it, make it right. Yes. Give me Get some it drama. Girl. Get so it I can be done. ready for my my oh, new family. You really? <laughs> Thank you, Ashley. <laughs> Thank you for coming. You're amazing. Oh my Thank God. You. For more information <laughs> on Kimpa Home, go to JenniferHudsonShow.com. We'll be right back. Tell them bye, Ashley. Yes, honey. Welcome back. Earlier this month, I surprised our next guest on Zoom, and it went something like this. Y'all take a look. Hi, Joe. It's me, Jennifer. Oh my God, stop it. Oh my God, what the hell? Stop it. Oh my God, no, this is the best surprise ever. You're the best surprise. Oh, my God. oh stop. Oh my God, but don't stop. Oh, it's a oh my God. This is not real. This is not it's real. It's very real. Look well, at this. Welcome to the Jennifer Hudson Show. <laughs> yeah, don't you just love him? We loved him so much that I had to invite him to join us in person. From San Francisco, please welcome Joy Royal. Come on out. Oh, oh my, my God. gosh, hi. You're just such hi, a... Hi, everyone. Look at him. He's Hello. Like, your energy. Oh, your energy. It's so beautiful. Oh, You're like a ball you. of light. Thank you very much. Thank you for being so here. Much, of course. Thank you. Okay, so yes. you remember the Zoom, right? Yes, I remember the Zoom. Yes, how surprised, I do. How surprised were you by the Zoom? Um, I felt like, I don't know if you could tell from the clip, but I felt like my whole self came out of my body and I was just <laughs> watching my cat trying to get attention as I was like trying to engage. It was, <laughs> it was a moment in time I will never forget. So thank you. I love that. Okay, can you tell everyone what you do? Yes, um, so I am a fitness instructor and a mindful and meditation coach. A mindful and meditation yeah. coach. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, and elaborate, what does that mean exactly? Yeah, so I've been in the health and wellness space for almost 10 years. Mm -hmm. What is time? That's so crazy. Um, but what essentially what I do is I teach fitness and then I teach meditation and then I also coach. So I coach people on essentially how to be mindful in their day-to-day -day lives. And I, love that. I don't love saying this, but how to be well. How be to well. be well. And, and how did you find your passion to want to teach people how to be well? Yeah, so, well, um, you know, I think maybe a lot of you can relate to people at home. Um, it wasn't something I had planned to do with my life. Mm -hmm. um, I moved to Los Angeles from a very small town in Washington State and was a musical theater kid. Shout out to musical theater kids yeah. everywhere. Hello, hello, hello. Um, and in my pursuits, I started to realize how unaligned these creative things were for me as I was growing and learning about myself, discovering who Joe is. And through all of that, a friend was like, let's work out. Mm -hmm. And I was like, really, do we need to do that? <laughs> do we really gotta go work out? <laughs> um, but I worked out and um, I noticed how it allowed me to really kind of be in my body a little more. And it allowed me to really like 
be clear as I was navigating the hustle and bustle of Los Angeles life, as I'm sure you mm -hmm. know very, very well. Yes. Um, I was clear and I was like, oh, this means something. And like, you know, for all of us, sometimes things like light us up. Like right. we do something and we're like, that felt really nice. Mm -hmm. I want to do that again. Um, and so I noticed, I was like, I'm really liking how this is feeling. So I kept doing it. And as I kept doing it, it was like, this might be a little corny, but bear with me. Um, it was like the universe was like, this is what's supposed to happen. And so doors begin to open. Mm. I got, yeah, it was like. That means you're walking into your destiny. I totally yeah. understand that. Yeah, and when like, I think. Yes. A layer to that Zoom moment was like seeing someone like you who like, you've done such a beautiful job. So thank you of like you. showing what hard work looks like and how you get to something. And we don't always get to see that in like a trajectory such as yours. So thank you. saying that was like thank amazing. You. And any hoodle, I'm getting Ooh, sidetracked. Um, but I would say that's in my journey of life, that's kind of what started to happen. And then as my personal life got very challenging and really hard, hard things happened as they do for all of us. That's life. That's life, comes mm -hmm. with the good and the hard, but yes. I started to discover what it meant to be mindful, what it meant to meditate, and then that was a huge way of kind of healing a lot of loss for me, and then I found this way to kind of show people how to do it, mm -hmm. and it, it lit me up so much that I not, not only felt joy doing it, but like I was happier going home. Right, and I was like, "That's a sign." Fulfilling your purpose. Yeah, that's what it sounds like to me. Yeah. I have a question. How do you go about teaching others how to be well? Yeah, well, I think it's it's so tricky, you know, because I don't know about you, but when I first heard about wellness, I mm -hmm. kind of envisioned this like, like dewy skin, flowy hair, <laughs> like. You weren't on a magic carpet, like you were the magic carpet. You know what I mean? Like you were like da 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 da. And so I really had a hard time at first. I was like, I don't know about that girl. And so, but so what I do with that is I kind of bring that when I meet someone and I say like, this is what it was to me at first. What was it for you? And I think being well is so specific for every single person because your journey of life is so unique to you. Yes, like it is. no one has had the same little trinkets and things that you've experienced in the way that you've experienced them. Mm -hmm. and so I always like to start with mindset, your mindset. 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 So like really uh, the relationship you have with yourself is a big component in your mindset, right? Because your mindset is like how you see your experiences. Yes. When you walk into the store, when you walk into a gas station, you're seeing everything through that mindset lens that mm -hmm. you have. So. I like to start by kind of learning about that person, asking questions. And then from there, we start really small, itty bitty baby kitty, and we find one little thing to start working on just day after day. Yes, I love it. You're so wise. How old are you? I'm 32 years old. You are wise, 32 hey, year old. Hey. Okay, well, we'll be right back with Joe. Don't go nowhere. And we're back with our new friend, Joe. Okay, so I'm sure we all set goals for the new year, yes. but do you think they ever like really like happen or? You know, I mean? you know, I think it's, I've set so many goals in my life and I've yeah. coached some people who have set some, so many goals, especially this time of year, because there's such momentum, right? It's the new year, you're excited. You're like, I'm gonna run 38 miles and buy 12 <laughs> cars or whatever the goals are, right? Cause there's that kind of like energy. Um, and I would say there's a couple of things I've learned in kind of my experience and in my work. And the first thing is, is when you're looking at a resolution or a goal, mm -hmm. be realistic. Look at your life. Like what works for your life? What doesn't work for your life? So set goals that meet you where you are, that are specific and doable and make sense. So for example, if you don't like running, mm -hmm. don't set a goal to run 38 miles. Like don't do that. I've done it and it's not worth it. It's don't not worth it. Um, and then from there, I would say, start small, kind of like I mentioned and like how I really coach is, the smaller you start, the more you give yourself opportunity to accomplish. And the more you accomplish, the more confident you're gonna feel and the more you're gonna really expand what you believe you're capable of. Right, I love that. Like, so you shouldn't give up like on your goal, even if you don't hit that goal because you can, yeah. you know, find another way, right? Yeah. Thank you so much, Joe, for coming to see about me. I'm so happy to meet you. Will you please come back? Absolutely. Isn't he adorable? You see my new good friend. To learn more about Joe, visit the JenniferHudsonShow.com. We'll be right back. Bye. Our 
Our next guest starred in the mega hit HBO show, The White Lotus. Please welcome Adam DeMarco. Hi. I'm so happy to see you. I'm so happy to see you. I was supposed to see you in December, but I got really sick. Yes, and yeah. I was thinking that. I'm like, you're finally here. How are you feeling now? A good, less sick. Less yeah. sick? I got sick during the holidays as well, which, which sucked. Um, mm -hmm. I'm always sick. No. So, yeah. Just keep your distance. Okay, keep my distance. <laughs> it's all right now. <laughs> <laughs> well, you, you're successful too, so congratulations on White Lotus. Everyone is Thank you. talking about Thank it. You. How does that feel? It's uh, amazing. Like, it, it was actually like the best experience of my life. Yeah. Um, Mike White show creator kind of ruined things. I kind of had a good thing going, now this happened, and it's all, <laughs> everything's been tossed up in the air. Tell everyone who you play. Um, okay, so I play a character named Alby DeGrazzo. He's a sweet little boy. Um, <laughs> he's traveling with his dad and his grandpa. His mom and his sister aren't there for uh, reasons that, mm. you know, they get into. Uh, his dad's been cheating on his mom, and so mm. they decide not to go. And were you already a fan of the show before being a part of it? Uh, no, I, uh, I was not. I, I started watching it. was it? No, no, I watched the first episode and then I got, I got, I was like, the vibes were way too off <laughs> in, in that moment. And so I turned it off. I was like, I'm not in the right headspace for this. But then I got the audition uh -huh. and I was like, okay, I have to watch it now. And so I binge watched the whole thing and I was like, this is amazing. And I started texting all my friends like, you have to watch this show. And they're like, yeah, we watched it. Like, like so, you're behind. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're just, yeah, yeah. And now you're, you, you were a part of it. And yeah, and now, now I'm in the dang thing. Hey, you in a dang thing. <laughs> so what do you think of the finale? I thought it was like one of the best episodes of TV I've yes. seen recently. Yes. It's uh, maybe I'm biased, but yes. I don't know. So you went from like I don't watch the show to this is like the it's best the best thing, thing yeah. ever. And now it's like what do you watch now? <laughs> I don't know. Right. Yeah. That's always the question. Yeah. And you work with Jennifer Coolidge? I did. I had maybe like one or two scenes with her. Um, yes. There she is. Legend. She's amazing. Yeah. Very hard to keep a straight face with her. <laughs> she actually got me into wine into drinking. Oh. Not, well. She, so y'all had a lot of fun. Yeah, well, I didn't really drink. I would drink like on my birthday uh -huh. and on like Halloween, like twice a year. Uh, and then I went to Sicily and there's all these like amazing Sicilian bottles of wine that are coming out. And yes. like, I'm not gonna say no to a glass of wine. If Jennifer Coolidge, I'm not insane, you know? <laughs> yeah, she took that photo. That is so fun. So what was Italy like? It was like the best time of my life. I don't, I, don't, I don't know how anything's gonna live up to it. I got my Italian passport like five years ago uh -huh. and I was like, maybe one day I'll, I'll go work at a coffee shop or something. And I never went and then I, I got to do this, which is way better, way better. And then yeah. you got to shoot your first like love scene while doing this? Yeah. What love, was that like? Yeah, love scene. Se se you can say, can you say sex. Scene? You can say sex. It's just a sex scene, multiple it's sex the happy scenes. Place, yeah, but I'll let you say. Yeah, it. they were all on my last day of filming. Last they just day. Just stacked them up and then. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I don't know if you guys have filmed many sex scenes. They. Uh, <laughs> they 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 they, they, lead, they put all these options in your room of like, g strings, little you can put a little pouch. Uh, I have not underwear. done this, so I am listening. Woo. Yeah, I went with the pouch option. Seems sleek. Um, yeah, and then and then there's like another layer of protection, and then a pillow in between you and your co-star. So it's very, you know, above board. And okay. there's an intimacy coordinator who's making sure everything is, uh, you know, and you had agree to everything. On your last day of, yeah, of just shooting, constantly faking orgasms. Yeah. Was it yeah. tiresome? Yeah. Did you get tired of, of faking it? You know. <laughs> At first, I was, yeah, because I was like nervous, but then the more we went along, it's just like any other scene. I was like, let's, let's go again. I'm ready to go again. <laughs> <laughs> what? Okay. Oh my God. So, well, I guess the next best question to ask, people want to know if you're single or not. Well, uh, I became... Y'all can woo. Mm -hmm. It's okay, you don't have to woo. I became, <laughs> I became, uh, I became single during the pandemic, and then um, we were, when we were filming um, Theo, James, who plays Cameron, was like always trying to wingman me, and he's like, he's like, mate, I'll 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 be a wing I'll be a wingman. He's not Australian. Um, there he is, and 
Yeah, I was just like, uh, Theo, you'd be the worst wingman ever. I'm not standing next to you <laughs> ever. <laughs> so I had to shut him down on that one, yeah. You can take this picture down. You take it down. <laughs> Thank you, Adam, for being here. You're Thank amazing. You. So nice I'm glad you. you're well. Thank you. You gotta come back again. I would love to. Okay. Oh, Haley the Richardson says hi. Oh my God. Yeah. I love her. I, I, and so I'm a good much. friend, because I told you that she said hi. Will you come back again? Season two of The White Lotus is on HBO and HBO Max. We'll be right back. If you like this video, smash that like button and subscribe to the Jennifer Hudson Show YouTube channel. Check your local listings or visit JenniferHudsonShow.com to see when you can watch full episodes in your area. And don't forget to sign up for the newsletter.